Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the ultimate night out. Are you ready to get this party started? I think we already did. I think we were partying beforehand. We want to party afterward. So let's get going. Please welcome three incredible leaders and your ultimate night out co-chairs. David Greenberg of Greenberg Capital, Steve Noodleberg of On The Ball, and Chaz Warrington of Dex Imaging. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it is so good to be seen. Yeah, it's good to be out. Good to be around. Thank you guys and ladies for coming out tonight. Come on, you can all come up. So we have done, I've been at this event for many, many, many years. I've never seen so many people come out for it, especially in these what they're calling crazy times. So give yourselves a round of applause for getting off your ass and getting here. So I got some people to thank. I want to thank the uh, co-chairs, David and, and Chaz. We had an amazing time doing this. It was certainly fun um, looking at what was happening in the past and what we could do to make it better. Um, tonight is a very, very special night. We have a guest. Mr. Michael Imperioli is here, who will uh, be entertaining us later today. He was awesome. I spent a little time with him before. I want to thank our title sponsor, Dex Imaging, nice job. I also want to thank City Furniture, who is near and dear to our heart. Where are they? Hello, City! Great to be in the city. So let me tell you a little bit about why I'm here and why I'm so passionate about this. Actually, Lori Cellarillo told me I had to do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I've been involved in JA for many, many, many years. I love the fact that this organization is committed to teaching young people about financial literacy. I mean, I have two sons that have been through the program. I know that there are many, many people that are in need of this education. So what we're here tonight to do is to raise awareness Hopefully all of you take a lot of pictures, spend a lot of money, pay attention to what we're doing here because you're all ambassadors for what we're doing. Have some fun, mix, mingle, do a little business, but uh, it's all about the cause and thank you for, for being here. <clears throat> Thanks, Steve. You have to realize there's very few places where you can affect 50,000 kids. I want you to think about that for a second. 50,000 kids come through our doors every year, fifth graders and eighth graders. I've done a lot of things in my life and I've been very lucky. There's been nothing that I've done that has been fo as fulfilling as junior achievements. To see these kids, to have these conversations, to know that you've made a difference and by everybody being here tonight, you are going to make a difference. And in the end of the day, I don't care how much money you make or what you do in life or anything else, when you look back, it's who made a difference and who changed people's lives. Just for housekeeping, okay, we want to thank uh, Charlie Torino and Vinnie Coppola for True Vodka for being our sponsors tonight. We want to thank Barry Greer, uh, veteran owned and operator for he from Silk Roads for some wine. Kemp there we go. Uh, Kevin Thomas at Three Mavens, who did the brew tonight. Jim Constantino, who has been one of the men of men, one of, one of my favorite people, and actually one of the first people I met. Besides, I have to do a shout out to Ryan Leeds sitting at the table back there. Ryan is the one that called me up one night. He said, hey, listen, they're, they're, they're honoring your friend Vinny. And I came, I fell in love with Junior Achievement, so Ryan, you know, thank you for getting me involved in this. Um, Jerry Rosenthal, one of the original members who started this dinner in 1995. We want to thank him. 
And not, not only that, he donated all the fine wine. He went into his cellar, pulled it out, and you can go back and you can buy that as well. Um, let's see, I, obviously Tony Coley for being here, who's gonna be, you know, pre regional president of Truist. That is the ultimate. The ultimate, the ultimate guy, you know, so let me see if I've Tony, covered everything. Stand up. Stand up, oh yes, and Tony, and remember, he was a That's national it. champion, you know, at UM. It's not a guy I want to get into a fight. Well, then again, I don't want to get into a fight with anybody because we know all lose. Um, and most importantly, you know, we also want to thank a good friend of mine, Michael Imperioli, who literally flew down here for the night from New York because he's got an event to go to tomorrow. And then after we uh, have this terrific meal and do some of the things that we're going to do in here, we're going to go outside. Lori Salarulo is going to do one of her Recipes for Success interviews. We're going to open it up to have questions from you. So start thinking about your questions that you might want to ask them. But most importantly, this is a time that you guys, by opening your heart and opening your wallet a little bit tonight, you can make a difference. And let's all make a difference tonight. And I'm going to hand it over to Chaz, who's the title sponsor, who's become a close friend. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, David. Whoa, that's kind of loud. <laughs> you were soft. I'm loud. Um, it's been a simply tremendous uh, time planning tonight's event with Steve and David. Um, so I thank you both. We also had a group of guys who helped organize this whole event. And when I call your name, if you could just stand for a second, I'd appreciate it. Jeff Bishop, where are you at? Clayton Idol. Jeremy Son, John Stern, and Mark Viner. I present to you the ultimate committee. Thank you, gentlemen, for your ultimate commitment to junior achievement. I have been involved with Junior Achievement for the past several years, um, and these programs can change the trajectory of a young person's life. Having great mentors and business professionals to guide these young individuals along their career paths and to teach them the life skills and professional development lessons needed for their lifelong success is simply priceless. I actually talk to my brother all the time about how I wish we had JA in our school growing up. It would have saved us a lot of trial and error. The point is to give the kids tools and experience early so they can make informed decisions and have the opportunity to develop work and life skills while exploring career options. JA not only provides work readiness training, but also experience through simulations entrepreneurship, and real employment. JA programs connect students to their future employers. People ask me, why JA? Why do I give my time and resources to JA? Why are me and my team going to volunteer at BizTown next week? I could stand here and explain my why, but this video, 60 second video, really explains why. Please welcome tonight's presentation of what I want to do when I grow up. When I grow up. I don't want to live paycheck to paycheck. I don't want to cry when paying the bills. When I grow up. I don't want to be turned down for a business loan. I don't want to borrow a lot for an education. And then not know what to do with it. When I grow up, I don't want to be paid less. Told I'm underqualified. Or overqualified. When I grow up. When I grow up. I want to know how to save for my future. Find a job I like. And start my own business. When I grow up. I want to know how to provide for my family and invest in my community and make a difference. When I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, when I grow up, I just want things to be different. At Junior Achievement, we promote economic empowerment through education, but we can't do it alone. So for me, that's why I'm here. Many of the students that go through JA, actually 70% to be exact, receive free and reduced lunch and may not have mentors and role models like us to inspire and influence them. So I encourage all of you, actually I challenge every one of you to step up, get involved, and make an impact. Um, before I go on and I invite Ryan up, Steve. Yes. Um, so. None of this happens without a really active board 
If you are a board member for JA, please stand up so that we can recognize you and, and applaud your efforts. It's all volunteer. We give our time, we give our energy, we give our money. Great job, guys. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Um, for those of you who are beer lovers, please make sure to check out the couple in the back, Kevin and uh, Maven Beer. They are outstanding friends and partners of, of JA. So um, it'll be a short, sweet program. Enjoy the food. Susan Renison from Hard Rock, thank you. She took over the menu and said, we're going to make sure you guys have good food, good booze. So without further ado, invite. So before I continue, let's take a, a moment to do a social media spot here. And um, Wait, we'll do a social media spot in a social media spot. In a social media spot. So everyone stand up, kind of wave. We're doing a quick video here. You can hoot and holler and have a good time while you're doing it. him. <laughs> um, so, so speaking of making an impact, I'm not sure of any company that is impacting the community right now like City Furniture. I think we can agree the city, the leaders of City Furniture, Keith and Andrew Koenig, are simply tremendous role models. Joining us tonight is Ryan Cronin, Senior VP of Finance and Real Estate. And a quick shout out to Andy and Lena for their wedding. Congratulations. Um, City Furniture is rapidly expanding, which really makes me happy considering I do all their copiers and printers. <laughs> um, they are currently undergoing a $250 million expansion, the largest in city's uh, history. Ryan is responsible for all aspects of the development of the new stores. Please welcome Ryan Cronin from City Furniture. On an island up here. Thanks, Chaz. Everybody doing okay? How we doing? Good, good. Dinner so far is good. Good event. Thank you to the Hard Rock for having us tonight. Uh, so let's get down to the business here of honoring our ultimate man of the year. As Chaz mentioned, I'm with City Furniture. I'm proud to be here tonight representing our team. A couple tables of our folks. Thank you for being here. Uh, for City Furniture, education is key to empowering our community's youth. A brighter future lies in empowering our children and young adults to own their economic success. We're proud to work with Junior Achievement of South Florida to inspire and prepare our youth to succeed in a global economy. Uh, before I introduce this year's Man of the Year, I want to recognize a couple of the past honorees. First, Gary Press. Gary, are you here? Let's give it up for Gary. Uh, Commissioner, <laughs> Commissioner Richard Corcoran. Commissioner, thank you, thank you. Uh, Matthew Caldwell. Matthew, congrats. And of course, our very own Andrew Koenig with City Furniture. So now to the man of the hour, or actually, more importantly, the man of the year, uh, Mr. Tony Coley. So Tony is a leader at Truist, a leader in South Florida, and a man who has some key ingredients in his recipes for success. So let's get to know Tony a little better. Please watch, uh, pay attention to the screen. Roll that video. I always tell people I learn more in the locker room than I did in the classroom. And what I apply today from a leadership standpoint is really what I learned through sports, watching really good coaches, you know, get the best out of people and, and watching bad coaches, you know, you learn what not to do. I see you as really laid back. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so, but yet I know the results that you get in right. the business world. Right. So how do you just like look so chill all the time? Well, because I mean, <laughs> nothing's that serious. Like it's, it's not that serious. It's not, none of this is life and death. We're living and we're trying to be successful at what we do. And you just can't take, you can't be too serious about it. I mean, so keep it in perspective. You got to keep it in perspective. And then, but when we're done talking about business, we spend time with each other because my thing is you gotta build trust and you can't build trust with people that you don't know and you can't, I can't know you if I'm not spending time with you. So we create opportunities for them to spend time and 
People relax yeah, they more. Relax and they start times. talking about families and everything else. And then, you know, you do that a few times and, and you, you notice as a business leader, it's like now they start talking about business in the same environment. These are just some of the things that I took down that you mentioned. You talked about sitting in the front row. Right. I love that. Not just right. in the classroom, but I think in life. Hard work, you mentioned, right? right? Discipline. Yep. Um, coach, your, your coach. Make it fun. Honest communication, right? Yep. Talked a lot about that uh, authenticity and being upfront. Keep it in perspective. I yep. love that about you. Go back to basics, process. I love that. Building trust. Very, very important with your team. Consistently learning and watching and growing, right? And keeping that mental fitness. Uh, surround yourself with the right people, so important. Consistency and making sure that mm -hmm. you stay focused, right, on the process. Yeah. And that's so important. Um, this is an amazing recipe. It is no wonder <laughs> you are just such a, a success. And if I can uh, please invite up to the stage Tim Rubin, the, uh, the board chair of Junior Achievement in South Florida. Tim, please come on up. Okay. Yep. And please help me congratulate the 2021 Ultimate Man of the Year, Mr. Tony Coley. Tony, please come on up. Good evening. How's everybody doing? She, Lori told me to tell you guys in the back to shut up. And she asked me to come down there if you didn't. It's so great to see everybody out tonight. 200 plus people I think here tonight. 225 exceeded goal. I saw Tom Lafredo the other day. And I walked by him in a restaurant. He said, man, we're having a really hard time selling because of you. So take that, Tom. We are over gold. I am so honored and delighted to be here with you tonight. I see so many great friends here in the room. So many people who I haven't seen in such a long time. And I, I haven't been able to connect with you tonight, but I certainly will before I leave. So many people who have been instrumental in my success. I got family in the room, fem, uh, friends in the room. Table 11, my truest teammates, thank you for all you do. All right, clap it up for truest. I thought I heard a boo, it must be another bank. That's okay, I'll get you. I'm really excited when Lori called me a few months ago and said, hey, you know, the board would like to nominate you for this, uh, this, uh, this honor, this award. Um, she's like, are you interested? I was like, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, it's man of the year, ultimate man of the year. I could use that. So no, I, I feel truly humbled um, by this opportunity. I, 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 don't, I haven't always lived up to the ultimate man of the year uh, title, but I try and strive to do that every single day. And so I wanna thank J.A., Lori, and the board for all you do, um, truest, is, as you guys know, the combination between BB&T and SunTrust, which is still coming together, will be done by President's Day um, um, next year, 2022. So we're, we're moving right along. And we've been longtime supporters of JA because of what they do with financial literacy, helping kids understand finance and budgeting. And that's just so important, obviously, to a banker. It's so important to our community, so important to, to the economy. We are creating future men and women, ultimate men and women of the year, OJA. So give it up for them. So I was asked to talk about, you know, what it takes to be the ultimate man. And to me, it's about having principles. And I have 
principles that I live by for a very long time during my career that I'm going to share some of them with you today. I have 10 core principles that I live by. I was going to share all 10 with you, but first of all, it gave me four minutes. Second of all, there are other bankers in the room, and I'm not giving you my secrets. <laughs> so let's be clear. But the ones that I think are most relevant, first one is, I call them my 10 P's, so they all start with P. The first one is people. Ultimate men care about people. Ultimate men value and respect all people, regardless of what they can do for you, regardless of their stature in life. That's what ultimate men do. Uh -huh. Ultimate men have empathy. They try to help as much as they can. Ultimate men surround themselves with good people, and I try to do that. You want to show me, talk, talk about a man's character, show me the people he hangs around, and I try to hang around good people, at least most of the people at my table. And if you see me hanging out with some riffraff, I am trying to improve their life. So that just, <laughs> all right. So I heard Mike Jackson one time. I don't know if Mike Jackson's in the room. We talk about surrounding yourself with good people. He said, just like 12 years ago, I always remember it, when he took over at AutoNation, he went to every single one of his dealerships. He wanted to make sure he had nines and tens around the table. He wanted to surround himself with the best people. But as an ultimate man, you have to believe that everybody you come in contact with has a nine or 10 somewhere inside them, and you have to create that environment that allows them to bring that out, right? And that's what we do as, as, as leaders. That's what JA did. We're trying to find that, that nine or 10 inside all of the students that come through our doors. Ultimate men understand partnership. So today we're here to celebrate our community partnership with JA, all right? And a key part, a key attribute of a good partner is showing up when you're needed. So thank you all. Give yourselves a round of applause for showing up tonight for JA. I think ultimate men are positive. We have a positive look on life. We have, uh, we have on life. We have positive energy, and we want to surround ourselves with positive people. And we try to create positive environments at work and at home. Charles Schwab, Qu excuse me. Charles Schwab had a quote that I like to, I quote quite often, there's never been a person who did not do better work or give better effort under a spirit of approval rather than a spirit of criticism. You always keep your interactions positive and even when you have to criticize, ultimate men criticize in a constructive and positive way and I truly believe that. Four, ultimate men are passionate. They're passionate about what they care about. They dedicate themselves to all of the things that they get involved in. We're here tonight because we're passionate about the community and we're passionate about JA. Now, how you show your passion, I need you to really listen to this. Dig deep into your pockets. During the live, I'm going to be watching. This live and solid, solid I mean, look, overpay if you have to, right? Because this is for a tremendous cause. That's how we're going to show our passion tonight. Now lastly, and my favorite, ultimate men know how to party, all right? Ultimate men know how to party. We celebrate successes, we have fun, we engage with people, we give off that, uh, that positive energy, and we spend time with each other around other positive people. We want to have fun. So we came here tonight to celebrate JA, so now it's time to get to it. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much. Tony, thank you. With a role model like Tony, it's easy for us to do what we do in inspiring the youth of Broward County. It's so great to see all of you here tonight. My name's Tim Rubin. I'm the board chair for Junior Achievement of South Florida. I'm the one standing between you and having fun tonight, so I'll be short. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, as Tony said, please dig deep tonight. We're here to, uh, you know, inspire the youth and, and uh, help the future of our, of our economy. Hey, welcome everybody. Great to be here. Great to see all the great faces. Um, Junior Achievement is really a special organization. And I just want to share my story and uh, introduce a very special person uh, that had interned with my company this past year. So, Lori came to me with Anna and uh, said, hey, Bill, you know, I want to tell you a little bit more about the program. And, of course, I've done the Recipe for Success, incredible program that you run, Laurie. And, 
you know, when we see the kids that come out of this program, it's such an honor to be a part of this. And when Lori came to me and said, you know, I'd like you to mentor one of our students. So the important thing is not only did, were we able to help Jaden really just get a grasp on what it's like to be in a business environment, but what it did for my organization and the 75 people that work for me. So I got to tell you, now listen to me, everybody. This is really important. Shh. Because, you know, it's not about sometimes what Jaden is doing for my organization by bringing him on board, but I can't tell you what he did for my people that worked for me. Having him a part of my organization for eight weeks taught the people that work for me so many lessons and the importance of giving back. And that's what this is all about, is giving back to our community and what we can do to help young people like Jaden. And what, what an honor, Jaden. I mean, come on over here. So when Jaden when first came to us, he, didn't, he really didn't say a whole lot. But by the time he left, he was talking. He was talking to my customers. He was helping us with merchandising. He was pricing items in our showroom. He was doing things that you would never believe that he would do. I'll bet you never believed all the things that we did. And when his time came up, I said, Jaden, listen, you have another two weeks before you have to go back to school. Would you stay on with us? And he did. So it was great. You know, we would have kept him as long as we could. It was such a great honor to have him as a part of our organization. And really, so if the opportunity comes up, and it's going to come up where us people in local businesses here in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida, when we have this opportunity to mentor someone like a Jaden, I recommend that you highly do that. It is so valuable, not just to Jaden and other students, but it's valuable to the people that work for your company too, because they see what's possible. And being able to help someone, you know, learn about business, day-to-day -day operations, talking with people. You know, someone like Jaden doesn't get that opportunity too often to bring him into an organization and really mentor him and show him. So I got to tell you, just it was really an honor. Jaden, thank you so much for, you know, coming to help work with us. Lori, thank you for what you do. You and your team are amazing. We love Junior Achievement. It's just such a great organization. Jaden, I'm going to turn the mic over to you. Thank you, Bill, for the introduction. Before I could begin, I would love to say thank you for giving me the honor to speak for you all this evening. So, good evening, everyone. I'm Jaden Bonhomme, and I'm a proud member of Junior Achievement of South Florida, the largest, world's largest organization dedicated to educating students in grades K through 12 about entrepreneurship, work readiness, and financial literacy through hands-on programs. This program was made to help prepare young people like me for the real world by showing them how to generate wealth and effectively manage their time in life. And I could say from firsthand experience, this is what they did for me. When I became part of Junior Achievement, career bound. It was during a time in my life, life decided to surprise everyone around the world with the year 2020. With the schools and businesses closing, to toilet paper being out of stock and even bleach, people losing jobs, homes and loved ones back to luck, like it's nothing. These were only things in the headlines from the papers, not in your own home in front of your eyes, but that was my case. In the span of two weeks, I became a prisoner in my own home, locked into my room from away from loved ones. 
Then the unthinkable happened. My grandmother and two uncles passed in the span of two weeks. It was a very emotional time to go through and still is till this day. It made me think and sit and wonder, what is life? And how I take it for granted. How many of my loved ones and many others wanted to do so many things in life, like have family, retire, and travel, but didn't have the chance to. So I decided to join Junior Achievement of South Florida to receive the resources I needed to take charge of my life. I was able to hear from many guest speakers, have mock interviews, learn skills of the workforce, and many more. It provided me with great mentors, such as Anna, who's over there, Brianna and Fabi, who provided me with inspiring stories of their life that helped me see life in a different light, that everyone who has the level of success had to pass through a storm. Like Dolly Parton once said, the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. I would like to thank everyone who is part of Junior Achievement of South Florida team for making me ready to work and be part of the Youth Employment Program. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have started my first internship with Allied Kitchen and Bath, who has recently won Broward Business of the Year Award. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of it from all the workers to customers, and even looking at all the products. I learned the value of teamwork and how if one person mess up, they all mess up. Also, the importance of organizing and how much faster things could be done in life with a little bit of organization, which I have incorporated into my day-to-day -day life. I would love to thank the Allied Kitchen and Bath team for being my second home this summer and providing me with financial dependency throughout. I would like to thank Bill and Joe for showing me what true leaders are. And I would also like to thank Stephanie for also being a mentor during my time at Allied Kitchen and Bath. I would like to thank everyone for being here tonight and supporting programs like Junior Achievement and CareerBound for students like me to be able to ready to work. Thank you and have a great night. So everyone, this is what it's all about. This is why when people see me and they say, I'm so passionate about what I do, or sometimes they say I'm relentless, but um, I can be because I am so passionate about what we do. Just gonna share one thing with you and Michael and Paroli and I had the pleasure to have, have a conversation the other day and he said, tell me about JA and you know why. So I shared with him why I love it. And Jaden is just one reason. I'm the mom of two children, most of you that know me in this room. Patrick, 29, was born with Down syndrome and I thought, I need to make sure he has everything he needs to be the most successful, right, individual he can be, right? And then my daughter was born two years later with nothing but an attitude probably, but, um, and, you know what? She needed the same thing, the resources, the tools, the experience to be the best she could be and to be the success she wanted to be. And today, for the last almost seven years, I get to do that with almost 55,000 students like Jaden. Right? So how many people in this room are struggling to find workers these days? Talent a problem? I don't see too many hands, but that's surprising. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, um, and how many of you have complained at one time or another that when you do get employees, they don't have the skill sets that we need? 
And that's what JA is all about, preparing our students, transforming them. As, as Bill said, Jaden, then my niece Stephanie, who was his mentor, told me, he didn't barely say two words. And today, this young man is standing on this stage speaking to all of you. So I want to bring up my friend Steve Nudelberg, co-chair of the event, because we decided to do something a little bit different this year. Usually we ask you to open your wallets and to give. But tonight, we're still going to ask you to open up your wallets and give, but in a little bit different way. Uh, so for those who don't know, there's a organization of women inside of JA um, called the Circle of Wise Women. They have raised four million dollars and at every board meeting I have to listen to the fact that they raised four million dollars so I like said why don't we as men of this community who are willing to make an impact why don't we do something ourselves so we have created something called the league and for those like Tony who you know always aspired to be in the league and other athletes who want to, this is the place where men can get together throughout the year, not just one night like this, and create impact. And I want to let my friend Andrew Koenig, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you are better. not Andrew he's, Koenig. He's much better looking than me. It's too many rules. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> just like Lori and Steve, I have my why why I chose this career after being in the for-profit sports world. I wanted to spend my days making a difference and leaving this world in a better place for my young 10-year-old daughter. And if you have children, you know that every child deserves the chance to achieve success. So I hope you'll join us. The league is a simple membership, $1,000 each year supporting JA programs. You can pay it all at once or break it up, however works for you. There will be league events during the year so you can connect with other like-minded men in the community and you'll also get a discount off future Ultimate Night Out tickets since this will be our signature event. Now, now, now we're gonna turn it over to Neil. Oh. <laughs> so now we're gonna turn it over to Neil, but I hope my goal tonight is that every gentleman in this room will raise their hand and join in the league, men teaming up for impact. Yes, you're in. Mark is in, but wait, we have a video. <laughs> thank you, Laurie and Jaden and Steve and, and, and Casey and everybody. Just, um, and thank you, because there's nothing better than raw, unbridled enthusiasm. But let's watch this video shortly, just for one second. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Andrew Caney here, president of City. Um, I am so sorry I am not there in attendance at the Ultimate Night Out. I would be. Huge industry thing over here in California. You can't miss but I know I got my team there representing, I know Ryan's representing, so I'm sure you all are having a blast without me and I'm really jealous I couldn't be there. But uh, anyways, uh, the, the big announcement I got is tonight JA announced what they're calling the league. This is a group of an extraordinary men that want to really help, help make a major impact for our youth. And uh, this is, I wanna be the first founding member, by the way, of the league. And as an incoming board chair this coming year after Tim, I'm counting on each of you to help step up and team up with me and JA to help over 50,000 kids every year uh, like Jaden get ready to join our business, uh, which is huge. So um, we're really proud of that. But anyways, the members of the league uh, will get some awesome benefits, okay? A league polo, networking events, exclusive, and an opportunity, of course, to mentor our students. And I'm, I'm sure over time, so much more. So it's gonna be an awesome team, an awesome group. The league's gonna be really cool. You wanna join it, I promise you. So who's ready to step up to the plate? No pun intended there, all right? But uh, anyways, I hope you could join me. Let's go, let's, let's change some lives. Take care, everybody, have a good night.